Good morning. You are so pretty. What's your skincare routine? Can I get your skincare routine? Vlogging. Step one. Find your glasses so you can take the dog out. Woo! Today is going to be a nice day for vlogging. A nice day for everything, I think, which is nice. It's a good day. Uh, on a normal, non-work weekday in quarantine, I take this doggy outside, and sometimes we take a long walk or a short walk, depends on the day. Today I have a lot of work to do inside the house, so we're just doing a short walk, and then I'm gonna go inside, and we're going to get started getting ready. I'm actually gonna like, Maybe brush my hair and stuff today, which is major. Good job. I stop dishes. Kitchen has to get done before I get myself ready for it because. stopped you know working effectively so that kind of stinks but it just means that I'm doing dishes by hand so round one of dishes is done and I'm gonna let this pot fill up get the rest of them cleaned after I'm done getting ready for the day The best part. Okay, this is how you make the best French press coffee. Get your water nice and hot. Three scoops. A little bit more because I like it strong. Just a little bit of hot water from the tap in the bottom of the coffee cup or the, the French press cup to soak the grounds. And then boil about this much more water. I stir up the grounds for your really boiling hot water into your french press. And try to get the sides like you do on a pour over coffee. Put a timer on for three minutes. A rundown of what my day is gonna be while I sit and drink my first cup of coffee. I am going to probably make breakfast after this for myself. Nick doesn't really eat breakfast so I just kind of make it for myself and then I plan to go into the bedroom and start organizing some of the stuff that's in the bedroom. So we are moving in about I think it's like two months, something like that, we're moving. So we're gonna have to start packing, donating, organizing everything. I've gotten a lot of it done during the week, but I wanna make sure I'm still working on it. And then the really exciting thing that's happening today, and the reason that I decided to vlog the day today is because I should be getting my shipment of my new roller skates, and I'll show you guys what those look like and unbox them, and we'll go outside and see what they're like. So that's the plan for the day. Clean, 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 donate and organize, and then hopefully we get a package. Here's hoping. But right now, coffee time. We've been doing about a million puzzles and this is the, I think, third one that I've gotten done. This is 300 pieces, but so I did it in one day, but it's like really hard because all the gnomes are the same color. Bobber. She really needs toys. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this puzzle away while I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. Jazzy, <gasps> get him. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Go, go, go. 
Where'd he go? What's he doing? What's he doing? These are the sounds of my morning. <laughs> Was that tiring, Jojo? Oh, lots of running, huh? Daddy gets you go exercised out. <laughs> Look at your sweet face. A tired dog is a happy dog, am I right? Oh my gosh, it's here. It oh, guys, it's happening. Let me just real quick go through the story and then I'll unbox this and then I'll show you guys all my gear and stuff. So the story is, I wanted to start roller skating and um, I love Moxie brand skates. They're like the most amazing skates you can get right now on the market. And I just was like, okay, I'm really gonna go for it. Like I'm in quarantine. I wanna get really good at roller skating. I love being outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the Moxie lollies. And if any of you guys know what the Moxie lollies are, then you're a supreme skater. So Moxie lollies are basically like the beginner high-end skate. So they're about 349-ish dollars. I had been saving up to do something good for myself because the April is my birthday month. So I went ahead and bite, bought the bullet, bought the bullet, bit, bit the bullet. Bit, thank you. Bit the bullet and I bought Moxie lollies. Well, what happened was then coronavirus hit and the Moxie lollies company or like the Moxie brand company, to no fault of their own, had to shut down their factory. And unfortunately, they just weren't able to fulfill my request. And because I ordered them at the end of March, I really wanted to start skating before my birthday, which is April 28th. So I had to get my order canceled from Moxie. And then my friends, Allie and Tim, who will probably watch this video, I convinced them to start skating too. And they got their skates from Roller Skate Nation. And so just to be safe, I went ahead and ordered my skates from the same place that they ordered theirs. And I got a lower price skate from Moxie called the Beach Bunny, which is still expensive and still really nice. But the reason I got those is because they're a good beginner skate and I wanna scuff up my beginner skates, not my nice lolly skates, which is something that Nick told me. So I'm glad that he encouraged me to do that. But they came, I ordered these on Wednesday and it is Saturday. So thank you Roller Skate Nation because man, I was really down in the dumps about it. Like I think everything in quarantine is really stressful and not getting my beach bunnies before my birthday was gonna make me low-key really depressed. So, um, Nick's on the other side of the camera telling me to please cut away from myself to be careful. Hey, this is a vlog, Nicholas. I'm trying to show my real life. This is my real life. So yeah, I did fine. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, this just became an unboxing. I'm so excited. Okay, Nick has been waiting for me to get my skates for weeks now, and he just wants to go take a shower. So he's trying to watch me record this, but also he's like, when did you just open the dang box? <laughs> okay, so I do want to show you guys the outside though. So Moxie Brand does this like old like skate trunk uh, packaging, which I think is really cute. And then they put all of the different stickers, like you would put on like a, a, a trunk, you know what I mean? For skating or for like a band or whatever, they do stickers on the outside. And kind of the cool inside to this is that all of the stickers on the Moxie uh, box are names of the people who are on the Moxie skate team or who work there. It's kind of cool to see those names on here. Da, 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 da. This is what they look like. Oh my God. So I got, oh my God. So I got the Beach Bunnies in a size six and I got the Peach Beach Bunnies because all of my gear, you'll see it in a little bit whenever I show you the clip, but all my gear is pastel. So I thought these would be really fun for summer and just make me happy. And I can't stop smiling because I'm so happy. Um, they look like they're gonna fit me, which is nice. They're super, Thick. They're like, almost feel like a, a skate that you would get at an ice rink, like a really thick, durable ice skate. I don't mind that for me to start. I wanted the lollies, which are uh, formed to your feet, but I don't mind it. If I have to start somewhere, I'd probably be best to start with a skate that is um, a little more durable. Toilet paper tube inside? Coronavirus. <laughs> 
So, okay, so they have these this really nice bolt-on toe, st toe stop. These are 78A Moxie gummy wheels. And as you can tell, um, I'm gonna need to tighten or loosen some of my um, wheels because Pigeon and Indy taught me that if they don't roll for about 15 seconds when you just go like this, that, I don't you, that they need to be loosened. So I'm gonna have to use my skate tool and loosen some of them because they should roll. See how this one doesn't roll immediately? It just kind of stops. That means that my wheels are too tight and they, I need to loosen them. That's not a problem. It's just at the factory when they make these, they just, you know, they're trying to get a bunch done at once. And they're glittery. The wheels are glittery. They're so cool. Cool. It's kind of nice because my friend Allie also bought Beach Bunnies and she brought the, bought the Periwinkle Sunset of this same brand. And hers are purple with this peach colored um, laces and like peach wheels. So we're kind of like opposite of each other, which is super cool. Here's the other one. This is gonna be amazing. They come with, they come with Moxie toe pads that are the same color as the Beach Bunny Skate. So that's gonna be super awesome because my um, my Moxie toe pads I bought were for my, my lollies I was going to have. So that's super awesome. Super, super great to have. I'm just like, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, let me go ahead and put these on and see if they fit. Get on my skates! I got my skates! I got my skates! See? I got my roller skates. 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 Skating around, around town with my dog. Once I'm good enough. You guys, this is gonna be the vlog episode where my hair is just crazy and doing something. And it's just gonna be like that, okay? So don't at me. Okay, loosen my wheels a bit. Let you loose just a tad. Oh yeah. Okay, one lace up and ready to go. Before I put my other one on, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the skate so. Indy Jamma Jones taught me this. I also bought this little uh, Moxie uh, like keychain pin from Roller Derby Warehouse, so shout out to them. Those are okay, but Lefty Lucy, she said go about like a half click each time, then try them again. Perfect. These ones need a half click. And then try them again. Mm, maybe a little more, she said. If you should spend for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds. Nice. And she said, when you first get on your wheels to, yeah. When you first get on your wheels to take this with you and just like put it in your pocket in case things feel a little too loose or a little too tight on you. This one? No bad. Not as bad. Um, and I've been watching a lot of roller skating YouTube channels don't get stressed out if your wheels don't spin right out of the box. That's normal, you know, that's completely normal, especially for a nice quality skate. So there we go, this one's all ready to go. Nick laced them up for me. You just gotta put them on. I also loosened the bottom ones. I didn't do that. Maybe that will help my other side when I... Pro tip. Pro tip, loosen the bottom before you put your foot in. Pro tip, live with a hockey player. Oh, that feels so much better, yeah. Yeah, into a tight skate, yeah. Is that something that you I do in take, hockey? Uh, yeah, I had to take, it's trial there. Um, you never break uh, <laughs> I had to take this charm off though. Why? Because I couldn't get the lace through with the charm in. Oh, I got you, that's fine. It's more for cuteness than for security. Look at that cute charm! Yeah. All right, I am all padded up, looking like a toddler. The learning curve is really all, but I'm just gonna sit this phone down and you guys can watch me time lapse. I'll only be out here for a couple hours just trying to learn how to fall the right way and glide the right way. Day one on skates, here we go.
All right, I might go back out later, but day one of skating, reflection. My dog is super empathic and she missed me. Can't wait to get good enough that I can take her out with me. Yeah, yes. My toe stops need to be fixed because they are in my way. They're kind of like, I'm gonna show you. Thankfully, she's not afraid of the skates, which is awesome. They're like really, really close to where the heel ends, which is cool, but it's not great for whenever I'm trying to just get past like rubble and stuff like that. My next time skating, I'm gonna need to go to a place that's a little bit more, less gravelly just as I start because I kept hitting rocks left and right. I thought that the concrete I was at would be a little bit more smooth, but I kept hitting rocks. Gotta keep remembering to bend my knees, stay low, keep myself centered. But thankfully, I have a little coach here with me who's who wants me to get really good. I'm gonna wear my skates around the house probably for the rest of the day um, as I go about doing dishes and doing my laundry and just like running around just so I can get used to the feel of them. I want them to become very like a second nature, almost like my tap shoes or my tennis shoes feel. So that will be great. I had a couple of residents that live in the apartment complex we're at be like, woohoo, good job. So that made me feel good. I was really worried that people would be rude or you know that whole like stare at you kind of thing and i know that rubble and shove have talked about this a lot but i actually got great feedback i guess i would say i got great on you know just going outside and just like being active so that was really fun my helmet creates this rash i'm gonna probably have to ask my skater friends what to do about that but yeah first time on skates i didn't fall thank the lord but yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, the dishes will have to wait a moment because me and the dog are snuggling. She missed me. It's gonna be the hardest part of roller skating is that I gotta leave this girl for a while. Oh, so sweet. As you can see, we are in a big parking lot location and we're about to go out and skate around for a little while and try to get some day one progress. a little bit of a pep talk from my coach who is currently not in the car but my coach Nicholas it's just really nice to have your best friend that you know lives with you during quarantine and can love on you and help you get better because well there's there's really nothing better right than somebody that cares about your hobbies and thinks that it's cool what things you want to do so that's been awesome because he's been super supportive all day with my roller skating stuff and he when we left he was like let's get back out tomorrow so it's just really cool even though he's not skating with me I think this will encourage him to get inline blades or something like that you know the hockey hockey guy version of skating outside and then we can skate together and he'll school me on it 100% school me on it day one of roller skates since I've, since, since like, it's probably been since I was like 12 or so that I've actually roller skated. So it, it's been so fun. One of my favorite YouTubers that I watch, Planet Roller Skate, shout out to Planet Roller Skate, is Indy Jamma Jones. And it's really cool how these people can become sort of like a second family for you. Like I found myself being like, Indy Jamma Jones says, these are called bubbles. Indy Jamma Jones says to do it like this. Indy Jamma Jones says, if I feel like I'm gonna fall, drop. So shout out to you, Indy, because you've really been like almost like a big sister in all of this skating uh, that I've been doing. And shout out to my my cousin Cassie and my best friend Allie, who are both skating along with me, even though we can't skate together yet. And we're gonna get good, and then we're gonna skate together. Yeah, good girl, sit. Wow, what a good girl. Wave to the camera. Say bye, camera. High five. Yay! Bye vlog. See you in the next one. This is what quarantine looks like in my house.
The dog is asleep. Nick is asleep. They're just sleeping all the time. I was about to eat an oatmeal cream pie and she fell asleep begging. <laughs> this is how it goes. Bly, Bly vlog? Oops.